So I want to talk about uh, how to look for bad U-joints on a axle shaft, this being a 2007 Jeep JK Wrangler. Um, a telltale sign a lot of times when you look in here at your U-joints. Now these are, uh, I've been soaking them down so I could try to get them out later, but you can probably kind of see um, some red-ish in here, basically rust. It's a little bit hard to see, but you want to look for basically red rust. That is a telltale sign that basically the inside of those caps are rusting. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of a tint to it there. Or look for rust dust in there. Or in this case, you can see that has that slop. So you're looking at this and this and see if they move separate from each other when you rock the tire. A lot of times when you put it in gear, if these get really bad, you can hear it clunk when it goes into gear. The problem with this is if you go off-roading and then uh, say you come up a hill and you come down hard and this gets a sudden jolt, that will a lot of times end up snapping. So this vehicle has 167,000 miles on it and it's either original, but this Jeep has also never been off-roaded until last weekend. So. Some uh, ways to tell that your U-joints are bad on your axle shafts. And uh, to replace these, I think they're less than $20 a piece for a good one. Um, generally, maybe $60, $80 labor to do per side. So, something to be mindful of. You break that on the trail and you're kind of in a world of hurt, um, depending on the situation. So, all right. Figured I'd share. Talk to you later. Bye.